Good morning everyone! Morning! <laughs> Today we're exploring Songkla, Old Town. We're taking you with us. See what's coming up in this vlog. Let's go! It's graffiti and street art and colour everywhere. It's English-Polish couple from the UK. We have quit our jobs to follow our dream of exploring Thailand for the next year. If you love good food, views, beaches and want to see more of this beautiful country, join, join us, us on, on our, our journey. journey. Today we're taking you to Songkla Old Town. We're gonna spend all day in here, chill, walk around, have a coffee and explore this beautiful City, beautiful town. So, as you can see behind me, this is the old town city gate of Songkla City. So today we're mainly going to be exploring the old town, which comprises of three streets which run parallel just behind us here. In this area, there's coffee shops, there's food, there's loads to eat, loads to see, there's loads of street art as well. So, let's go and have a look. Let's go. Mango? I don't know. Is this mango, guys? Do any of you know what this is? Any of our Thai viewers? You know what these are? They look like mango, but I'm not too sure. Please tell us in the comments because we pass trees like that all the time and we never know what it is. It looks like mango, but I don't think it is mango. So you've only walked two minutes from the old town gate. As you see behind me, there's graffiti and street art and colour everywhere. It looks really cool and I've already seen a number of coffee shops. There's lots of coffee shops, loads of graffiti. Mm. It looks so cool. So I'm happy to go look around. You need to grab a coffee, I think, don't we? Yes, coffee yeah. is needed now. So let's walk through this old town, find ourselves a coffee. Songkla town is the capital of Songkla province and Songkla is also known as the great city on two seas and this is because the Songkla is surrounded by two beautiful beaches Samila and Son An Yes, as we're walking around, I think this is actually quite beautiful it's one of those cities where, or well, this old town especially where you can walk around for hours and just taking pictures because it looks really beautiful I think it's more beautiful than, say, old town Phuket but yeah, you have to come and check for yourself. But as you see behind me, look. Beautiful. <laughs> but yeah, as you can see, when we're walking around, there's loads of the old Chinese shop houses, but they all look very different. The reason why they look different, we can get across this road, the reason they look very different is because all these buildings around here are built between 50 and 200 years within that time period. So some of them look slightly different than the others. But all based on the old Chinese shop house style. But I love the way they look, it's so cool. They even make us English feel at home here. You see what I mean about it being so picturesque and colourful? This stuff and graffiti is everywhere. You take pictures everywhere, it just it looks more rustic. Like I said, Phuket Town compared to this, there's no comparison. This is more rustic, more aged, more beautiful I think, and a lot more beautiful. Right, let's go and look at some more graffiti. We just passed some pizzeria and cafe, that pizza smells nice. But we are not here to eat pizza guys, we're here to eat ice cream. So many absolutely cute and beautiful buildings. I'm just looking around everywhere guys. I don't know where to look. Just don't fall over, diggy has got a thing, I don't know about you guys. <laughs> She'll be staring around, also just... <laughs> she's gone. Yeah, that's normal. <laughs> 
then you end up with broken knee or broken face <laughs> we saw amazing ice cream on Roman cook video so Gary introduced us to this place if you haven't seen his video make sure you check it out because definitely it's much better than I was gonna be now this one's quite interesting because we'll show you in a minute what, what they put on top of it it looks I've never tried this before yeah. so I'm gonna try it now it might be it seems a little bit weird to me but I'm gonna try it let's go I'm excited ice cream is my favorite thing in the world especially coconut in Thailand yeah. because it's so nice it doesn't contain milk mm. so if I dig it it's good yeah I cannot eat milk <laughs> the little pots they serving your ice cream in basically what's special about this ice cream is that they put raw egg yolk on top and it tastes amazing you have to trust me if you don't trust me come and try it That can only mean one thing, it's gonna be good. It's so hot today. Ice cream is much needed, but this is not just a normal ice cream, guys. This is special. I can't wait. Ice cream come to me, please. I came to Songkla town for this. This is ice cream with granny egg yolk on the top. Raw egg yolk on the top. Oh my god, this looks the same. Right, I'm gonna I'm going in. I'm trying it. Look, actually see the egg yolk. Oh look how cold that is. <laughs> oh that is so good. So guys, this is coconut ice cream, but actually the egg yolk is makes it taste like vanilla. It's so good. It's creamy, it's in consistency of the sorbet, it just melts in your mouth. Kototka? Is it maklao ice cream? Maklao, ah, kototka. Yeah, coconut ice cream. I was confused because it's so creamy, it tastes like vanilla. That's so good. So, I got a slightly different one. This one actually has, as you can see, powdered oval tea on the top. And I've noticed inside, it looks like it's got beans or something inside as well. Let me get a scoop and show you. Oh. See, mine has like green beans in it as well. I'm not too sure what it is. Let's give it a go. So that is like little beans inside. It tastes like peas. If you get like garden peas or the ones from a can in the UK, I've got like little garden peas in here. And as Diggy said, it tastes like vanilla. That egg, I was a bit wary about raw egg inside, but I'm pleasantly surprised, it's actually really good. It makes it so much more creamy. Mm. Try some of that oval tea. Oh, so good. Gives it that maltiness. So it tastes quite malty and hoppy. Oh, that's nice. I love this, especially in this weather. Get off my mouth. <laughs> it's so good, guys. I'm so happy. So the price for two of us was 70 baht. Not bad. So when you come through Songkla Old Town, there's actually an old rice mill here. But it's pretty cool, it's bright red, you can't miss it. And people come here for the photos as well because there's statues outside of the guys carrying their old rice sacks. So we're gonna go around and check it out. Let's have a look. Yeah, so this place used to be a rice mill, but now it's been turned into a heritage site. So if you want to learn more about Songkla and Songkla Old Town, you come here, it's got loads of information inside. You come up and read all about Songkla. But this looks cool outside. There's still the boats out here as well. There's a bit of a port outside when you walk straight through. Have a look. So just behind me over there you have a Songkla lake. It's massive. We drove uh, around it or next to it on the way from Hatiai to Songkla. Uh, so yeah, we got ourselves a scooter again for 24 hours and we're paying 300 baht again. Same 
from the same place as the last time we're going to show you where we rented a scooter at the end of this video. The Songkla Lake is actually one of the biggest in Thailand and it has an island in the center called Koh Yo and huh? you can actually drive across to it there's a bridge that goes across so we may go and look at it later. So these are the statues Danny was saying earlier about taking a pictures with it but some clever, clever man parked the van right in front of it. Cheers for that mate! Songkla is also known as Singora and is a city in the southern province of Thailand Songkla province. It's full of beautiful little cafes, beautiful little buildings, cute tiny restaurants, it has very local feel to it and it's just beautiful to walk around. One of my favorite street food snacks, love them. Just check this out, look at this building, so cute. This is a tiny little restaurant and looks so pretty. What's wrong with people? Why do they have to park in front of the street art? You can't even take a picture! <laughs> it would be lovely if this street would be actually pedestrianized. You could... Sawadika! Sawadika! See, people are so friendly in here. Oh yeah, it's quite hot at the moment. Songkla province has a really short uh, dry season. And it only lasts for two months, February and March. Did you know that? No. Yeah, we are here in Feb now. But yeah, it's really short dry season. And then after that, after February and March, it just rains. Not non-stop, but it rains a lot. So we're quite lucky we chose the right yeah. time. Without <laughs> even knowing. <laughs> yeah. We didn't plan for this, but we obviously came in the right time because look how sunny and hot it is. Started. So now I think it's time for coffee and chill by the water somewhere. Let's go. Also, Song Kla, known as Singora, as I told you before, that's quite actually interesting fact because I didn't know that before. I actually had to read it myself in Wikipedia, and I thought I shared the facts with you. But Singora has also in an island, so I'm excited to go and check that out. Let's go. Right, coffee time we're super thirsty we need a drink and recharge the batteries hopefully with the lovely lovely view of the water come on let's go so yeah 
Just driving around the island of Koyo, we found a cool little place. It's called Chili, like uh, Chili. <laughs> and yeah, you can see the view behind us. Cool. We ordered some coffee just to freshen up a bit, some water, and maybe some food. Not too sure. We've had a look, but this is more like it. You hear the water going. It's nice and relaxed, calm, and a bit of a breeze. It's been really hot today, so it's nice to actually chill for a little bit. Just look at the view. I need to get back to my bed. See you in two. Right, so coffee is not that great in here, guys. It's watered it down and also the they just serve me honey in a pot next to the iced coffee that's not gonna dissolve in iced coffee. So it just sticks to your straw, but oh well never mind. I will survive another bad coffee, I guess. I'm saying another bad coffee because I didn't have a really good coffee today yet. And I like to have at least one good coffee a day. Oh well. But at least we have this beautiful view. So if you want to chill, sit on the beanbag, listen to nice calm music, look at the beautiful view of the water, come here. If you want a good coffee, go somewhere else. But if you're in a nice Thai tea, they're very nice here by the way. <laughs> Just not the coffee. Right, coffee done. Let's drive a little bit more around this island and show you a bit more. Uh, I'm on. Let's go. You can smell fish and seafood in the air when you're driving around here. Over there you can see a massive statue of reclining Buddha in Songkla. So this is Wat Phanon Leon Po and the thing with this one is actually behind it there's a great view over the whole of Songkla Lake so it's positioned you can actually see it from the mainland but it's quite big actually look at the size of it let's go and have a look well, I can't go in there because I don't have appropriate clothing, I don't have my shoulders covered, but Danny's gonna take you there. I don't know if you can quite see the scale of this Buddha from the video, because I can't get right up close to it and I don't want to walk directly next to it. But let me stand in front of it and see if you can get a gauge of the size of it. It is fairly big, not as big as... It might be even bigger than the one in Bangkok, maybe. Let's have a look. It's fairly big, see? I absolutely loved our time in Songkla. This is our last day. And I have to tell you guys, I am so surprised with how actually lovely this province is. It's very local and um, the one thing which surprised me, there's not many Western tourists in here. You get tourists from um, Malaysia and from China, but not or hardly any from Western countries or from Europe, which I absolutely love. <laughs> Yes, as a whole, people are very friendly here. Yeah. They don't speak much English, a lot of them, but I actually like that. I find yeah. it better when it's like that. You feel like you have to actually try and not be an arrogant English man who expects everyone to speak English. Yeah, but we actually practice a lot of our Thai here. As you know, we're learning Thai slowly, slowly. Chan put pasa Thai, Thai nit noi ka. We did well because most, most of the time people understood us. Yeah. So in respect, as a whole, should you come to the south of Thailand? Should you come to Songkla? Yes. Yes. Yes, Why you should. It? Why miss it? Yeah. So much good food, nice people, mm. nice people ever in Thailand, but so but nice here. Too. Lovely, fr absolutely friendly locals, and they genuinely happy to see you. 
And if you try and speak a bit of Thai, they love it. It's, yeah. They find it quite funny as well. Yeah, but they always <laughs> laugh. They laugh their heads off when they listening to us speaking Thai. We're probably not very good at it, but yeah, it's quite quite fun. <laughs> right, guys, we're gonna end video here. Thank you for watching to the end. It always means a lot if you actually guys stay to the end. If you did stay to the end, make sure you do subscribe because there is more stuff coming from Thailand and soon we're moving to the new destination. So make sure you subscribe so you're not gonna miss our next adventure. So we're heading back to Hatiai and we will see you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching guys. See ya. Bye. <laughs> Sawadika. Sawadika. All done? Yeah, all finished. Let's get it back. Oh God, my bottom hurts. All right, so we just brought the bike back. We've got the bike from Salan Motorbike Rental and it's just opposite the bus station. So very convenient if you come to Hat Yai. So we paid 500 baht deposit and they only took picture of the passport we didn't have to leave the passport which is always good as well so yeah we recommend this place and all bikes around here range from 300 to 350 ah, yeah so we got this one for 300 which is really good mm. I think if you do it for longer like a week you'll get a discount as maybe well. yeah we've had no issues here just about to give it back now come a receipt get money back Winner.